The other thing that I'm having a hard time doing is time-wise, is not enough hours that I'm learning real fast. And, you know, I have a person here in Arlington Heights, I'm like, oh, it's only 10 minutes away, uh, wants a quote. Well, that quote ends up being, you know, a half hour to measure, an hour and a half to talk to them. And sometimes they, I can get them to sign right away. Other times they have to, you know how it is, they have to think about it. Yeah. So I feel like I maybe didn't waste two hours, but at the same time I didn't gain anything in those two hours. And that's right. kind of frustrating to me because I could be out getting deals, signing them. Sure. <laughs> And and I'm and I'm not and I feel like I don't know I feel like I'm I, I've dropped the ball somewhere and I think a lot of it has to do with just getting the people out there and training and we had that huge storm that came through yeah and I'm not there yet so it's okay I know you yeah. feel like oh my god like the storm just hit if we don't go out today like we're gonna, all the business is gonna be eaten up in like five days. Don't worry about that. Like I had, um, I just had a call yesterday with Sam, who's a member of the program. And he was, he's kind of in the same boat as you right now. He's trying to get a sales manager. He's just like kind of running a one man show. He's starting from scratch, building a team. And he's like, I mean, I just need some direction here on what, what I should do. And he's like, I got to be really honest with you. I haven't even taken the time yet. I haven't had the time to go through your training and then deliver and train my guys. Like I've hired people and they're out there, but they're not really trained. And I was like, all right, here's what you need to do. I know that when a storm hits, you feel like you have to scramble and get those guys out there. And yes, that's a great idea. Ideally, you are doing that. However, if you're sending out an unprepared team, you're A, setting them up for failure because you're ret they, they don't have the proper training. So the results that they could get three days later, had you just spent three days training them, are going to be way down in the dumps. They might be getting a 20% return instead of a 70% return, right? Simply because they're not trained properly. They haven't connected the dots. Meanwhile, they're also calling you all the time because they don't know what they're doing. They don't know what to do next. A customer said this, what am I supposed to say? All that stuff's eating up your time. And then it just snowballs and it's this terrible thing. And then people are quitting and then it's, it's better for you to just focus on, okay, I'm going to train these guys and let them loose. Because if you can do that, you've got a fully competent, functioning little sales army out there. And now you don't have to pick up the pieces along the way and build the bridge as they're trying to cross it. The bridge is built, follow the program, go get them, right? So I think for, for you right now, um, what you really need to do is just take some time to A, write down your priorities, like what needs to be done first. And then literally sit down and block time your schedule. Like from this time to this time on this day, I'm not doing anything except making phone calls to schedule interviews. From this time to this time, I'm not doing anything except paperwork, estimates, invoicing, stuff like that. From this time to this time, I'm literally just studying the material so that I can deliver a good training next week. From this time to this time, I'm running an interview. Just do that and then do not deviate from it. Be very strict with yourself and suddenly all the things that feel like this huge dark cloud of to-dos, it'll go away. Like, and you don't have to think about anything else. Like, is this the best use of my time? You've already decided this is what I'm doing. And if somebody calls and says, I need you for this, if, if you've got something blocked off on your schedule, even if it seems like it's something you could move to later, don't. I'm busy. I'm sorry, I can't. Take care of those things, and then those other things won't pile up, you know? Okay. Yeah, it's overwhelming. I feel like everything piled up, and it keeps piling up. Right. And it's like in the middle, you know, like this This is a simple job, windows, inspectors coming at 3 o'clock. Like, I don't need to be there, but everyone feels like I have to be there because that language barrier to some degree. Sure. Well, I just got a phone call, everything passed anyway. So it's like I block this time off. I'm like, I am not coming out there. Right. <laughs> I got back on the line. I'm going to make some money. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And that's what you need to do. You know, it, it's just that we feel like, because I'm a control freak too. I'm like, if I'm not the one doing it, it won't get signed. Something will be missing. You know, like I want to be the one doing it, but I can only do so much, you know? So you're the same way. Like it's better if you have five sales guys and you can send Cody out there to go and deal with that. Hey, I got a lead for you. Go run this. Now you don't have to do anything for it. You might have right. to ask a question, 
But as soon as you train these guys and they get more experience, they don't need you anymore. You know, Mm -hmm. and now you got five people going out there. That's true. That's five times the amount of stuff that you could be doing. 